So I like to work with some non-traditional items. As you can see, I have a spatula and some bowls. I also have some squeezy applesauce and peanut butter. I'll show you what we're gonna do with those in just a second. So getting Greta into position, inviting her to come over and interact with me. So I am using the spatula as a nose target. So sometimes dogs can get a little confused or have a little bit of trouble with actually nose targeting hands. So sometimes I just like to use something that is an extension of my arm and even a different color to kind of help them distinguish that it is something different. So this is where we can use all sorts of creative things to help our dogs be successful. And remember, each time your dog does the behavior, they earn a reward. So touch and then cookie. Also, I'm giving her choice here. So Greta likes peanut butter and applesauce, but I wanna know what she wants to work with today. So she chose the peanut butter. It's very important to include our dogs in the decision-making processes and the entire training process too. It'll just make your relationship a lot better. So now what we're doing is instead of using the kibble or the food as a reward, I just put the reward on the lick stick. And you can also freeze this too. So then you have a portable lick stick and it lasts a little bit longer. So now we're moving on to the bowls and we were working with the bowls a little bit earlier so they still have a little bit of peanut butter left on them. So we are a little bit distracted. So we're just gonna take a short break. We're gonna do some find it and some scatter feeding. And then I can ask her if she's ready to come back and work. She says, Yes, ma'am. I am ready to work again. So now I'm just going to reintroduce the bowls back to her. But as you saw, I flipped them around to make it a little bit more easier of a target. So just because she was having some difficulty with targeting the bowl when it was flipped the other way doesn't mean she's not actually able to do the nose targeting or touch behavior. It's just I may have needed to flip it around to make it a little bit more easier before I can make it a little bit more difficult. And now you guys can see that she's having success with touching the inside of the bowl. All right, we had to whip, processing, thinking, thinking, error message. And that's okay. I just made it easier for her again so she could be successful. 